Anthony Joshua is confident that he'll emerge victorious in the fight against Francis Ngannou. In an interview with Sky Sports Boxing, Anthony Joshua expressed his excitement for the fight against the Cameroonian beast. The former unified heavyweight king lost his belts to masterful Ukrainian technician Oleksandr Usyk in 2021. After two demoralizing decision losses, Joshua now seeks redemption by defeating the most intimidating opponent of his illustrious career. Can Anthony Joshua re-establish himself amongst the elite by toppling the UFC's KO King on away soil? Or will Naganu validate his special K nickname by leaving Joshua staring at the arena lights? In this video, we analyze the keys to victory, break down both Warriors' arsenals, revisit Joshua's tragic title loss, recap Nanu's shock knockdown of Tyson Fury, and speculate whether the winner can leapfrog the Fury Usyk undisputed winner. So let's jump straight in and assess Joshua's chances of reclaiming past glories against the Beast from Cameroon. This is Nganu versus Joshua. Despite experiencing several humbling defeats, Anthony Joshua remains adamant that his status atop the heavyweight division is unchanged. During his dominant championship run, Joshua seemed unstoppable. 22 straight wins included title coronations over legends Vladimir Klitschko and Joseph Parker. But in June 2019, portly underdog Andy Ruiz Jr. ambushed Joshua, flooring him multiple times to capture his titles in one of heavyweight history's greatest upsets. To his credit, Joshua enacted revenge six months later by outboxing Ruiz over 12 tactical rounds to reclaim his belts. This demonstrated admirable heart and self-belief during adversity that should not be undervalued. Joshua remained undefeated for three more years until his pair of losses to the mercurial Ukrainian stylist Oleksandr Usyk. Oleksandr back-to-back victories over Anthony Joshua in 2021 and 2022 sent shockwaves through the boxing world. Joshua, the seemingly indomitable heavyweight champion, was dethroned by a smaller, southpaw cruiserweight in one of the most unexpected upsets in recent memory. But how did Usyk achieve this seemingly impossible feat? Let's dissect the strategies and skills that led the cat to conquer the lion. Usyk's exceptional footwork and head movement were on full display. He constantly circled away from Joshua's powerful punches, frustrating the champion's attempts to land clean shots. Usyk's unpredictable footwork made him a difficult target while his sharp head movement helped him evade Joshua's overhand rights, Joshua's signature weapon. Usyk's jab was a constant thorn in Joshua's side. The southpaw flicked out a lightning-fast jab throughout the fight, keeping Joshua at bay and disrupting his rhythm. When Joshua lunged in, Usyk met him with precise counterpunches, landing quick combinations that scored points and chipped away at Joshua's confidence. Usyk showed impressive adaptability throughout the fight. He adjusted his strategy as the fight progressed, exploiting Joshua's weaknesses and capitalizing on any openings. Usyk remained calm and composed under pressure, never getting flustered by Joshua's power or aggression. Joshua wanted to get his revenge on Usyk in their second meeting, aka their rematch. The hype before this was insane, and he was confident to turn this around by slightly changing his strategy and trying new things. But Usyk didn't reinvent the wheel in the rematch. He stuck to the game plan that worked in the first fight, utilizing his superior footwork, sharp jab, and effective counterpunching to keep Joshua at bay. Joshua, however, seemed determined to brawl, playing into Usyk's strengths. In the later rounds of the rematch, Usyk stepped up the pressure, he started walking Joshua down, landing hard body shots and wearing down the champion. In the final rounds, Usyk unleashed a flurry of accurate punches, cementing his dominance and securing a clear-cut victory. Beyond technical prowess, Usyk displayed impressive mental fortitude in the rematch. He remained composed under Joshua's early pressure and never seemed phased by the crowd's pro-Joshua bias. Usyk also made subtle tactical adjustments, such as working Joshua's body more in the later rounds, which proved highly effective. In the end, the mobile Ukrainian southpaw managed to outlast Joshua's physical advantages and cruised to consecutive points wins that relieved AJ of his unified WBA, WBO, and IBF championships. These results dented Joshua's invincible aura, 
but his recent violent stoppage of dangerous Swede Otto Wallen proved Joshua's formidable power remains intact. As a matter of fact, John Fury, Tyson Fury's father, closely observed that match and came to a conclusion that boxers like Otto Wallen and Deontay Wilder don't have what it takes to face heavyweight legends like Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Here's what he had to say. Otto Wallen was scared of Anthony Joshua. Fair play to AJ. He looked like a man on a mission. Wallen never turned up, just like Deontay Wilder never did against Joseph Parker. I've never seen anything as bad as Wilder in my life. I was looking at two different people in Wallen and Wilder. Those were not the people who fought Tyson. Tyson probably took everything out of them. Despite criticism, Joshua refuses to relinquish his mental hold over the Blue Ribbon division. His self-confidence seems undimmed, perhaps due to an ironclad belief that his style and experience edges contemporary rivals. Certainly, Joshua's net worth and commercial appeal stay peerless. His gritty public housing to private jet backstory continues captivating fans from across British society. Whilst the bookies may now cast Joshua as a marginal underdog, his unwavering self-belief, social currency, and thunderous hitting power ensures he remains a genuine threat to any leading heavyweight. Now age 34, Anthony Joshua aims to gatecrash the division by toppling hungry contender Francis Ngannou. The hulking UFC champion is riding significant momentum after nearly conquering Tyson Fury in a shock boxing debut last October. Utilizing an 85-inch reach, the 6 feet 4 in Ngannou overpowered Fury early, scoring an outrageous knockdown with an overhand right in round 3. This scintillating start brought the boxing world to its feet. Suddenly, the Cameroonian's infamous punching power was transferring seamlessly to the ring. Ngannou continued pressing forwards, clocking Fury with huge shots, despite nursing compromised knees that hindered mobility from his MMA career. Whilst unable to maintain his early success, Nyanu had already defied expectations by not only surviving, but actually outlanding the slippery Fury. That loss did nothing to dim Nganu's aura. At 37 years old, his prime power remains chilling. After flooring much bigger men like Cyril Gain and Curtis Blades in the octagon, Nganu clearly carries fight-altering thunder in both hands. His granitic chin, physicality, and world-class training team, spearheaded by Dewey Cooper, also offset any boxing inexperience. Simply put, Francis Ngannou appears the most frightening proposition in perhaps any combat sport. Advancing towards him seems ill-advised for even battle-hardened warriors. Let's dig deep into Francis Ngannou's fighting ability and his journey to properly understand what he is capable of and the competitive baggage he'll be carrying with him into his match against the ever-so-confident Anthony Joshua. Nyanu is a force to be reckoned with in the world of mixed martial arts. His rise from humble beginnings to the pinnacle of the heavyweight division is a testament to his sheer athleticism, relentless work ethic, and ever-evolving skill set. What sets him apart from other fighters is his exceptional punching power. Widely considered the hardest hitter in MMA history, his left hand generates a staggering 129,161 units of force, equivalent to being hit by a Ford Escort at full speed. This raw power has yielded devastating results, with 22 of his 17 professional victories coming by knockout, including brutal finishes of Stipe Miocic, Alistair Overeem, and Jerzino Rosenstrick. While Nganu's power is undeniable, it's crucial not to reduce him to a mere one-punch wonder. Over the years, Nganu has shown remarkable improvement in his technical game. He now utilizes feints and footwork to set up his devastating strikes, effectively disguising his powerful left hand with jabs, straight rights, and leg kicks. Additionally, his takedown defense has grown significantly, making him less susceptible to grappling heavy opponents. One of Nanu's defining traits is his ability to adapt and overcome adversity. Early in his career, he faced setbacks and even suffered knockouts. However, each loss became a learning experience, pushing him to refine his technique and develop new strategies. 
This relentless quest for improvement is evident in his victories over Cyril Gain and Curtis Blades, both highly skilled and adaptable fighters. Against Gain, Ganu displayed newfound patience and resilience, weathering Gain's technical striking and ultimately securing a decisive unanimous decision victory. While known primarily for his striking prowess, Ganu has surprised many with his growing proficiency in wrestling and grappling. He possesses surprisingly good takedown ability and displays solid takedown defense. Additionally, his ground game has shown remarkable improvement, showcasing the ability to control opponents from top position and even secure submissions. This newfound grappling prowess adds another layer of unpredictability to his arsenal, making him a true threat on all levels. Beyond his physical attributes, Nyanu's mental toughness is a significant factor in his success. He possesses an unwavering resolve, showcased in his ability to overcome adversity and remain composed under pressure. This mental fortitude was evident in his rematch against Stipe Miocic, where he battled through early challenges and ultimately secured a brutal knockout victory to reclaim the UFC Heavyweight Championship. Francis Ngannou is more than just a knockout artist. He's a complete fighter with a constantly evolving arsenal. His impressive blend of raw power, technical refinement, tactical intelligence, and unwavering mental grit make him a truly elite and versatile competitor. With this juggernaut now fixed firmly in his crosshairs, Anthony Joshua faces an acid test. He just can't afford to be complacent about this fight. It's good that the former Olympic champion remains characteristically unintimidated about this fight and his opponent, who is a fighting beast, who has only just begun to unleash his full potential. This box office bonanza promises an intriguing mesh of styles. Joshua starts the betting favorite due to his nuanced fundamentals honed by longtime trainer Robert McCracken. The Watford technician owns educated footwork, combination punching and positional awareness thanks to a standout amateur pedigree spanning 40 fights. Conversely, Ninganu only recently began immersing himself in the sweet science. His previous pugilism existed largely around standard MMA striking. However, Nganu's atomic power punching requires no intricate skills. He simply wades forward applying relentless pressure before firing nuclear bombs with both hands. This Tyson-esque seek-and-destroy style places emphasis on toughness over technique. So whereas Joshua moves fluidly, working behind his ramrod left jab and fight altering right cross counter, Nyanu marches through incoming fire to land his own munitions. This clash of philosophies makes for captivating action. Can Nyanu breach Joshua's guard with his thudding hooks? Does Anthony Joshua harbor the power to repel his bullish opponent? Or could Nganu lull Joshua into brawling before exploiting openings? Each scenario seems plausible given both Gladiator's Galactico status, but Joshua's trainer, Robert Garcia, prefers keeping things long and tactical to dull Nganu's danger. This multifaceted match between boxer versus brawler promises twists galore. Beyond bragging rights, the winner of this intersports showdown could leapfrog Oleksandr Usyk and Tyson Fury's undisputed unification to command the division. If Joshua showcases his pedigree to successfully mute Ngannou's vaunted power, demand for a redemptive trilogy with Usyk may become irresistible. Likewise, an emphatic Ngannou victory would solidify his upset potential versus either champion. Nganu's sheer size and frightening knockout ability could overwhelm either master. Imagine him stalking elusive maestro Usyk or pursuing fleet-footed wizard fury. Veteran promoter Frank Warren told Second South that Joshua Nganu's victor deserves first shot at the fury Usyk winner. This adds extra spice to an already mouth-watering clash. The stakes could not be higher for Joshua's grandeur restoration project. Ascending back atop the food chain promises Anthony Joshua or endorsements and pay-per-view windfalls. But this assumes he can solve the power-punching Yanu riddle. Should Francis land cleanly, recent history suggests Joshua's legs betray him. So while Anthony Joshua remains the betting favorite, 
Nyanu's eraser fists harboring fight-altering menace that demands respect. This dangerous dance with destiny promises grueling action and high-stakes drama. Before closing, the odd role of Saudi Arabia hosting this PPV spectacle deserves inspection. The conservative kingdom has faced accusations of sports washing in response to financing several high-profile boxing events, including Joshua Naganu. Critics argue Saudi aims to gloss over their dubious human rights record by paying exorbitant site fees for clashes like Fury Joshua or Fury Usyk Undisputed. This leads to philosophical debates regarding sports role upholding ethical standards when sanctioning events in Saudi Arabia. However, counter arguments suggest bringing Western entertainment acts as a liberalizing agent, gradually opening cultural barriers. Saudi's youth population seems enthusiastic consumers of events like Formula One, BWE wrestling, golf, and soccer. This rising appetite for sport appears incremental yet progressive. Similarly, seeing female boxers compete alongside men represents seismic progress within the Islamic nation, where gender segregation remains enforced. While economic incentives clearly drive the Saudi sporting agenda, perhaps observer nations stand to gain from any erosion of ultra-conservative conventions. With an open mind, boxing can disseminate positive values whilst enjoying financial security in this oil-rich territory. Both factors seem crucial for the sport's sustained health. So expect neutral venues like Saudi to remain integral staging posts as promoters chase emerging markets. Given his advanced skill set and fight experience, Anthony Joshua seems poised to silence the hoopla surrounding interloper Francis Nganu. Expect Anthony Joshua to dictate range behind his telephone jab before looking to counter aggressively when Nganu inevitably overcommits. This should frustrate the UFC fighter in early rounds, but Nganu's frightening power ensures he remains a constant threat with the ability to turn the fight on its head with a single punch. So Joshua must stay vigilant despite easing ahead on points through his disciplined game plan. The second he switches off or gets drawn into Nyanu's preferred slugfest territory, risks disaster given Francis's fight-ending power. Look for Nyanu to become increasingly desperate entering the championship rounds, sensing himself behind on the cards. He may gamble aggression and launch offensive flurries that could pay dividends or accelerate his downfall. Either way, the climax promises heart-stopping drama that captivates a worldwide audience. In the final analysis, Whilst Nyanu's power poses a genuine hazard, his rudimentary technique fails to truly threaten an elite boxer like Joshua over 12 rounds. Thus, we foresee Joshua utilizing his PhD level boxing IQ to carefully diffuse Nyanu's danger before closing the show in stylish fashion around the ninth stanza when his opponent tires. An authoritative Joshua stoppage cements his position as heir, apparent to the winner of Fury versus Usyk's undisputed coronation. The time has come for Anthony Joshua to reclaim his seat at boxing's top table. March 8th promises the next chapter in his quest to rule the world once more. Destiny awaits. Thanks for watching this special edition YouTube boxing breakdown previewing the box office bonanza pitting Anthony Joshua against Francis Nyanu. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive fight analysis. Until next time, enjoy the fistic fireworks.